G'day everyone, Adam here from Veneto. Just gonna give you a quick rundown on the latest 560 to leave the factory. So, you'll notice first up the blue. This is absolutely beautiful. Jake's chosen this color himself. And um, boy, is it a stunner. It just pops. Absolutely beautiful. We got white bottom, hot blue sides, and white neck. And it's just very classy, very nice look. Uh, you'll notice it's rolling on a Aussie Alloy trailer. These are a 2000 kilo rated trailer. Check the plate guard, alloy wheels. He's a great value and um, suits the boat really well. Drive on, drive off. Um, Jake's had this one set up as a swing away folding drawbar. So it fits in his garage. Up the front, standard as per usual, Benito bow strip. Oh, bow roller, sorry. Electric motor mount up there. We run a rigging tube from the console to the front of the boat for your electric motor wiring. Uh, kind of front of the anchor drain, cars platform drain. Really nice. Coming down the back, we've got transom steps, swing away ladder, three step telescopic ladder fitted, handles on both sides. We've got the stainless steel live rod pickup for the deck wash. And then we've got the Lenko limited space trim tab kit fitted. Nice quality item. These just uh, help you give you a bit more control over the boat. In terms of trim, uh, depending on your weight distribution and the wind, etc. on the day. Uh, down the back, you'll notice it's got a 13 degree dead rise, but it looks way deeper than that. These are nice and stable. You've got nice big reverse chines on the outside of the hull, which help with stability. You can fish three people down the side of these, no problem. Uh, in the back here, you've got the fuel filler. So this one's got a 190 litre underfloor fuel tank. Massive range. Both sides we've got bait tanks. So blue on the port, white on the starboard. Recess clear, it's got four heavy duty rod holders fitted. These are all welded around the base, so these are super strong. Inside we've got a console a lemur seat with storage. And in the sides we've got the side pockets and this big gun rack. So same on both port and starboard side. Jake's a spear fisherman as well. So, wanted to place the storage guns out of the way. Removable bait board fitted here. It's absolutely beautiful. It's come off a tree. It's got the non skid floor. Coke to the front. Got the large cast platform. Something pretty unique about this one. Let's open her up. We've got a bulkhead in through. So, Tons of uh, storage there and plenty of space to fit this mackerel and tuna. Tons of space to stand when you're top water fishing and casting. Get an electric motor mount up here. Nice big access hatch to the anchor well. Nice big bullhorn cleat there to tie off to. The large console fitted here so you can squeeze in a 12 inch sim right in there which is nice and big. You know, there's tons of room down the side of the console to walk past the T-top. These provide a ton of shade, so very nice addition. We're doing more and more and more of these. But yeah, these are a great item. Um, these are definitely the definitely good value for money and quality. Price point. Hydraulic steering fitted here. Yeah, you can fish with flush mount 12-inch screen in here. Inside the console, we've got two shelves on down low. On a pie, gonna fit Get tons of room in there in the console storage wise. Storage in the back in here, nice big storage compartment. Split fold down rear lounge when you're not using it, you can slide your feet underneath it to still fish from it and then have a comb in between again. And then when you're using it, that's what it looks like. It's got four legs, I've just got one up just to show you. Down the back, bilge pumps, two fitted down there. One manual, one auto. Absolutely awesome little boat. And um, thanks for letting us build your boat, Jake. It's been a pleasure. And I'm um, looking forward to seeing you in the water. Cheers.